Okay, part one of the Monopoly dice task is to continually have your program display the value of the dice which the user rolls. So hopefully you've played Monopoly before. So I'm going to try and make sure I've got some uh, good readability uh, import statement. So from random import random and so that we can get um, the use of that. So step zero variable declaration. Uh, so I'm going to need to have dice one, which I'll just set to negative one at the beginning, and dice two, which I'll set to negative one as well. Um, it's got to display the total of the two dice, so let's just go for total equals zero at the beginning, which we need to reset. Um, and we just want to continually display that. So what we're going to have to do eventually is have a while loop that repeats that. So repeat until game ends. Um, so while game equals true, make sure we use capital T for boolean. And it just set to true there. And what we want to do each time is set dice 1 equal to a rand int 1 to 6 because it's a, the dice numbers so just a regular dice and set dice 2 equal to the same. Uh, so I'll put in a set value of dice from random 1 6, which is rolling the dice, uh, set total equal type to dice 1 plus dice 2, so we need total equals dice 1 plus dice 2. Um, so our program has to display the total plus the value of the dice themselves. So send total dice one and dice two to display. So we'll do print uh, total space comma total uh, dice one dice one and then the same for dice two. And uh, the program should loop until the user throws any three doubles in a row. So let's just test that this part works so far. Uh, Invalid syntax because we should have a double equals for comparison. I hope you spotted that one before I did. Running it again. Uh, can I import name random int? It is because it should be rand int and the import. So there we go, and our program will continue to do that forever, printing out the values of the dice as well as the total. So what we want to do to get this part working is, is check whether they throw a double. So if user throws a double. So they'll have thrown a double if dice 1 equals the value in dice 2, then we can say uh, set double to true. So double equals true. And then set it equal to true again here. Total doubles equals total doubles plus one or remember we could do it the shorthand way which is to do plus equals one so I'll further need that other variable so total doubles equals zero now what we're going to need here is else because if you don't throw a double we have to set double equal to false we actually don't need the boolean I've just got it in for, for habit uh, so set 
six, double, false, and set double count to zero again. So total doubles to zero. Now after that loop's executed, we want to check if we should go to jail. Now we go to jail if the total doubles uh, equals three, which means we've thrown three doubles in a row. So we can do print, uh, rather that's print, I can't good send, go to, to jail to display. We want the game to quit, so we'll do print. You have been sent to jail. And then we can end the game by setting game equal to false. So you can see that the program's still running because that conditional loop that we executed um, has never managed to stop. So I've got some syntax errors here. That's because I accidentally clicked space. So let's fix that back to run int. Running again. You can see it starts. Now we've got no way to test this, so we've just got to trust that it works. Now what we can do is if dice one equals equals dice two, we can print uh, doubles thrown and then output total doubles. Now you can see whilst I was doing that that the program has actually stopped because it threw three doubles in a row. If we look at those last one, it threw a three and a three, another three and a three, and a two and a two. But it was difficult to check what it was doing each each time there because it wasn't printing out when, we, when it was throwing a double. So if we run it again with this print, now we can see that when you throw a double, it prints out double thrown one, double thrown one, one. So it doesn't happen that often that you'd throw three doubles in a row but it does eventually happen. So we'll just leave that running. Hopefully it doesn't take any time um, in order to meet that criteria. Now let's look at part two as well as that's executing. We need to keep track of the place that they are on the board. Um, there are 40 squares on the Monopoly board. Now we're going to start counting from zero. So I will make a variable called position, which will start off at zero because I believe everyone 